Hello everyone, it is Andrea and today I'm coming at you of course with a plan with me. You clicked on it, you're here. I am using, what, kid, what is this kid called? Always You. It's a newer set and I know that because it has a doodle two sheet which we do quite love around here. Um, this was the week that one of my besties, Amanda, it was her reception. She got married in the fall and then had her reception at like a separate time. So um, loved her wedding and was very excited for her reception because it's at like, it was at like this like flower place and it was really, really pretty and really nice and the food was so delicious and so good. Um, but I thought that this kit went really well with her theme, especially with all the flowers and the light colors. This art did come in a darker color way and I will be using that art this summer for fall weddings. I think that will be really pretty and just something also nice to have on hand. Um, I did use matte bronze and also, I don't know if this is, is it rose or like matte or like light rose? I don't know. It's either, it's one or the other. It's in the new Confetti 2 version foil. It might be like light rose. I don't remember what I called it. Um, but I use, I did like do like a, like a mixed metal moment with those. I think it turned out really cute, especially with the Badamashi bows. I am going to be using Planahana custom, um, custom scripts in font 10 in matte bronze and I think that that oh and then I also do have two like custom boxes one that says Amanda and Andy and then one that has their like um what the heck is that thing called their monogram on and I think it turned out really really cute so let's go ahead and get into the good old day by day okay so first things first is third or Thursday <laughs> Monday was Chris's birthday so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down my nails look kind of obnoxious with this spread I'm not going to lie to y'all it looks kind of wild ah! I just literally threw a pair of scissors at myself on inadvertently so we have Chris here in the good old matte bronze again that is a Planahanna um custom multi in matte bronze font 10 use my codes always hello you know the drill and I'm just using one of the mini icons from the foil bundle I love all these mini icons in the pinkish color, which I figured I don't, I don't know, like I use scraps from the matte bronze. So I was like, okay, I'm going to use matte bronze for this because I have like so many icons in this color. That was my like thought process. Um, so yeah, so then I, um, so this was like, so Bennett went, went to the hospital the night before, um, and he was just having, and I'm also color blocking, if you, if you couldn't notice. Um, he was having like pains and he went to the hospital a couple of days prior to Sunday night. And they were like, oh yeah, it's probably just constipation. Like they did a bunch of different tests. And then I think that was like on Friday or I don't remember. Maybe it was Friday. Yeah, it was Friday during the day. Um, so we went home and I told Nick, like, sa Sunday night, I was like, all right, Nick, if he, like, wakes up crying again tonight, like, just take him, honestly, because, like, I, I just feel like something's not right. Like, this is, like, a little bit beyond constipation, in my opinion. So Nick took him in again and they decided to, um, admit him and remove his appendix um because I guess like they did a bunch of different scans and they really couldn't find his appendix and I guess it's like not where it normally is I don't know I guess it's like 10 percent of people or I don't know something it's like in a different spot so that's why they thought it was constipation versus his appendix so he had his appendix removed so he was admitted this day to the hospital and Nick was with him and we didn't think that he was going to be in overnight so Nick took the car with all the car seats in it so this day I just hung out with Theo and Lila because I didn't really have like the means to like do anything else. <laughs> so yeah, so I was just hanging out with Theo and Lila and then I think Tony took my neighbor, my husband's bestie, took them over food or well and Nick needed stuff because they were like had slept over and then I think he also took them food. So then he picked up the car seats and then installed the car seats for me because he's a gem. Um, so he did that like later in the day but I also took a nap whenever the kids napped because I was like up a lot of the night because I was like worried and like all the things they did they did a whole bunch of different scans on him and things and Bennett's a trooper so that's like the positive of it all but 
it was definitely a stressful experience even not being there. Um, Nick is definitely the more, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, chill parent. So I feel like him being at the hospital was definitely the move because um, he's, like I said, just more calm. He is less like, I probably would have cried like 17 times because I just feel like, always triggered whenever I have to go to the hospital um for any reason especially if it has to do with the kids I'm gonna cry like I'm probably not gonna cry if it's me actually but if it's the kids like I'm not gonna be well I'm gonna be unwell the whole time so Nick did that and then I took a nap whenever the kids nap this day because I was so exhausted um and then that we found out later in the day that he was getting his appendix removed so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the little um stethoscope in here with the a little appendix, aka a big. I was really going wild with the font size this week, appendix. And then uh, we did get McDonald's for dinner because I did not feel like cooking. And I also went to bed so early. Like, I think I went to bed at like eight this night or like just after the kids went to bed, like I went to sleep. I was like, I'm done for the day, I'm going to bed. And on Tuesday, um, Theo had a doctor's appointment, um, because, um, I think he, um, I don't know if he's complaining his throat was sore or coughing. I don't really remember. This was just like two weeks ago, but honestly feels like 17 years ago at minimum, at the minimum. Do I? I already used that one. So I'm going to just do the little car. So, I, like I said, I had the car seats this day, so I took Theo to the doctors, which, again, is not my favorite thing to do because I have a bad anxiety about doctors, but, you know, I took them. I was brave. Um, they were like, I'm always worried with Theo, and it will really any of my kids, with ear infections because I feel like they constantly, like, get them. Well, Theo doesn't anymore because he has tubes, but... The other ones, like, I don't know. I just feel like there's always hidden things and we go and they're like, oh, they have an ear infection. Oh, they have a strep. Oh, they have this. Oh, they have that. So, anyways. Anyways. Um, do you want to do this or nah? So, we took Theo and they were like, it might be strep. I don't know. Like, could be, couldn't be. Like, they're like, do you want to test for the flu? Because, like, but, like, you could test. But if it's positive, like, we're not going to do really much different because he's out of the, like, time th I don't know there's always there's always something right um so I was like yeah just test him for strep because if it's strep like that's something we kind of want to know about so you get him on antibiotics you have to like throw away toothbrushes and wash water bottles and all of these things so um we did that and they're like all right we'll call if it's strep um and then we went to Target because we needed some things wanted to get him some like cough medicine and etc cetera, etc cetera. So I put it in a spree because I got a new Stanley Cup and I was very excited about it. It's one of the new Target, well, it's right here. This color one. Um, they just like had a bunch of them and I was like, okay, I think that this is a calling to me saying, Andrea, it's time to get yourself a new Stanley Cup. And it's so fun because I'm like so in my colorful era currently that I love the like fuchsia and orange together obsessed um we did get a call then later in the day that theo did have strep so we had to get the medicine the toothbrushes the next day had to go etc 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 um so glad we went i feel like there's more times that i'm glad i went than oh that was such a waste of time like there's probably been like one of those honestly where I'm like, okay, it was just something viral, blah, blah, blah. But I'm better safe than sorry kind of lady. You know what I'm saying? So then I went over um, with Theo. Like Theo stayed, we had to do like a parent switch basically for Bennett. Um, so Theo, we had found out that he had strep. So we had to like switch without contact and like Theo wear a mask and all this stuff. Um, but basically I went into the hospital with Bennett um and talked to all the doctors and did his discharge stuff um they were like he needs to fart before he leaves and I was like oh god this is gonna be fun but then he did fart and I was like so excited about it. I was like Penny you farted I love you you're amazing so then um he did get um discharged which 
bless, honestly, because I was, like, not excited about everything. So I'm just going to do another Bennett sticker because a lot of that. A little scribbler kidders. He has, like, a, you can't see it here, really, but he has, like, a little tie-dye shirt on, which is the most Bennett thing in the whole world. Um, so we got to go home, which was very, very fun. And then, um... I did make sloppy joes for dinner. I was like so hungry. So I made Nick a shopping list um, of stuff to get. And I was like, please. Well, it was just literally I needed a man witch thing because I had the other stuff. But um had sloppy joes for dinner because we had I the past like couple of days, I think. And then like a lot of, I think, this week or next week. I don't know. There was like a, a spurt of like me not cooking for a sec. And I, it was not really my best time of my life, if I'm being honest with you. I was getting so sick of like fast food. Made sloppy joes, super easy. And then afterwards, um, I did have to do a lot of work because I didn't get to like work during this day um, because I was out and about and doing all the things. I'm gonna use this, it's kind of big. And the other one's kind of little. Maybe I'll do this actually and cut it. Yeah. So I didn't get to work a lot this day because I was out and like, with Theo and the day before with Lila and Theo and the weekend is just really not it's not the vibe anymore really with three children running around to try and work so I had to do a bunch of work this evening and I was so mad about it because I was so tired and I don't I'm I don't it's hard to say I like don't sleep well when Nick's not here mentally does that make sense so I was like really excited to go to bed um, so I did have to work in the PM because I had to get all my listings done. Um, I had to do my YouTube video for the next day and then I just hit the hay pretty early again this PM. And then on Wednesday, I was so tired because Bennett needed round the clock meds. So every three hours he had to take, um, uh, Motrin and Tylenol, like, opposing I guess would be the best way to explain it so I had to be up because I because Nick had not slept well the night before either because he was with Bennett um and you don't sleep well in hospitals it's just not the way that the cookie crumbles so um I was like I'm gonna take major watch and I think that this was also whenever I don't know if it was when Theo was waking no I think it was like Lila was also had a, like a two-week stint of like waking up in the middle of the night which was just like Lila Joy we have so many things going on can you just you know take a chill pill and just um sleep and she probably went haha no because that's lila's attitude she has mommy's attitude problem that's okay though because i like my attitude problem all right here we go a strong independent woman except for when i don't want to sleep by myself all right so um I did get my lashes done this day. All stickers so far have been from either me or Hannah, in case you're wondering, like the scripts and the uh, character stickers, icons, one or the other. If you have a question where anything is specifically from, from a little girl, no. And all my scribblers in shop come in six different variations in case you were looking for any of them. I went to the good old HEB by myself after my lash appointment this day. Um, who knows? Was, I, I don't remember. I think I needed a whole grocery trip, if I'm being honest with you. So we went out to the good old Heb, aka I went to the good old Heb. And then I did have a lot of work to do this day. So I'm just going to use another one of these bigger boxes for work. I'm going to use another Yap Top or a computer of sorts, Lappy Toppy. And another work script I was thinking I wasn't gonna be able to like film this till like later in the week like I'm filming this on Monday of the week that it needs to go up but today was the day of the eclipse which was so cool I was like excited for it um but I don't know like I was excited for it but I just was like so blown away with how cool it was like for uh, Austin, we got like 100% totality or whatever it's called. I don't really know. I'm not really 
that smart. But um, it was very, very awesome and definitely something that I'm glad I went outside for. So there's that. But yeah, Nick went over to our neighbors because he kept all of his kids home. Um, so they, he just went over there to hang out for a while. So I have time to film. So this night, the kids got McDonald's, I believe. And then we later on in the evening got Panda Express. I have been like annoyingly obsessed with uh, Super Greens. I don't know why. And then I went to bed early. On Thursday, I again was just like, all right, I'm behind. I need to catch up you know, need to get my shiz together. So I did go ahead and work, 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 work. And then Nick also brought me home a chai because he knew that I was kind of having a struggle bus moment with how absolutely tired I was. I also decided around this time to give up energy drinks, which I wasn't like on. Sounds like rough, but <laughs> I was... um gonna use a sticker sheet um I only drank energy drinks for maybe like two months but it was like every day and I haven't I drank one maybe in the past like three weeks whenever I was like all right I need to go hard this day um it was the day I got my hair done which will be in the next spread I drank an energy drink in the morning because I needed to get like so much done that day but otherwise like I have either been drinking like no caffeine or I'll drink like one caffeinated pop a day. I've been doing a lot of Coke Zero caffeine free. Or sometimes depending on my vibes, I might get a grande chai. But it's like, it's not every day. It's maybe like two times a week. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to be like lower caffeine because I feel like the problem is it's just like a dependency and I don't actually get, I've, I've completely forgot I even have these here. Um, it's become like more of a dependency that I need to drink it to function but I'm not getting a boost if that makes sense so I'm just saving them for when I need the boost because it's pointless if there is no boost to be had and it's just I need them to survive you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying hopefully you do so um I did go to the good old Wally World I feel like Walmart is like a once a week-ish type situation for me because I feel like they have so many good things fangs so we go to the walmart and then i did make spaghetti for dinner because bennett had been requesting it for a while spaghetti is like kind of the bane of my existence though because it is the messiest meal ever my kids like are disgusting with spaghetti like I could, i'm just picturing lila right now shirtless because we know better with literally spaghetti all over. And it's like the sauce everywhere. And they all my kids love it. So it's like a great meal because no one complains. But it's disgusting. It's like, it's so gross. And all my kids are like gross with eating. Well, Bennett's not too bad. Bennett's never been really bad about being gross. But, you know. Also, it was still like we were taking turns. I think this night prior and this night um, about Bennett's meds. And I think he kind of like weaned off them for a Friday night, I think it was, but Lila was still like getting up once or twice a night and yeah, you know, just live my best life. And then I did just lay in bed in the PM and read with Nick and just scroll on my phone for a little bit because I was a very, very tired girly. So we're gonna put it with Nick in here. With my hubs, love them so much. Okay. On Friday, I did do the do, and I worked, of course. Um, let's see how I want to put this in. Mm. Let's do this, and then this, and then in the middle. So I worked on things to try and get my stuff together. Um, did I actually get my stuff together? Who knows? Who knows? Then I went ahead and cleaned my closet this day. I have this issue, and maybe you can relate. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think what I can use for working. Really? Oh, duh. I come with scribblers. What happens when I put that? It's it's this. It's literally this. What I'm going to explain to you about my closet. So problem here is that if something is not in front of me, it is gone. That's all I could. That's all I could say. If it is not in front of me, 
it is gone. So um, I basically in my closet wanted to kind of like put all of my winter wear away um, and then kind of make like a section in the front of like outfit ideas and like but it's kind of hard to explain because otherwise like I wear the same three things over and over again because they're in the like they're the first thing I see and it's just it's not a vibe do you know what I'm saying it's it's not a said vibe and then while I was um cleaning my closet and like moving things into the garage basically um I just basically I I did get rid of like maybe like four or five items but then I filled like a big black tote thing with um it's like a big one it's like bigger than the like standard size one with like winter specific items like I will not wear them during spring summer and then I'm gonna just I just put those in the garage and like got rid of some of the hangers and then now I feel like it's like roomier and then pulled all of my stuff up to the front it's it's very complicated but anyways so during my lash appointment I was listening to a court of silver flames and I was in the last like two hours which it was actually getting good and I was like okay I need to finish this Pfft. they're like I need to finish it like it's got to happen like now not later now um so I had been kind of looking for the opportunity to um finish her up so whenever I was cleaning my closet I'm like all right baby let's go ahead and do this let's get my Akatar on and listen to I'm gonna do two patterns next to each other just because this is an event you know um so I'm gonna listen to it and finish her up and the ending was like I'm trying to think what happened uh oh yeah yeah it was good like I just feel like um, I, like, I didn't need a lot of the, uh, like, middle, like, it was kind of pointless, you know, like, I don't know. I didn't feel that way too much about Feyre's books, like, I didn't feel, like, so bleh about them. Um, so yeah, that was my thought on it, and yeah, so I just finished it, because I was, like, if you read the book, the ending, it gets like, it gets wild, you know? So I was like here for it and wanting to get her done. Um, then we, um, I was like super emo because of like some things going on with my kidders. Everyone's like healthy and safe, but it just, you know, stressed the F out. Um, and then... Um, I got ready and then Chris and Hannah came over because we were going to Amanda and Andy's reception with them. Um, so we went down, went to that. It was super fun. We danced, we ate, we did the things. It was a grand, great time. I love Amanda and Andy. They are the best. I think I've known Amanda for like I think it's like coming up on like eight years, which is wild, seven or eight, I think. And she's just one of my faves and I just love her. So I'm happy that she found Andy and that they are happy and in love. And then Saturday, um, we didn't stay super late because I'm just old. So on Saturday, I did wake up early in the morning-ish, pretty much early. And I took Theo over to HEB. I don't remember what I needed. It was something. It wasn't a lot. It was like I just needed like two things. So it's the way the cookie crumbled on it. And then I kind of made like a bigger decision this day. Um, I actually put these in the wrong section. Hmm. I might have to edit this a little bit. Okay. So I made kind of like a bigger decision this day and I was like really, really emo about it, which I'm going to try and see if I can pull this up because this is not what I was going to put here. But just know I was emo. Hold on, Nick texted me and also Mark texted me. Ugh, I miss Mark. I was thinking about it the other day. I was like going through a list of like all the people that I wanted to visit. And I was like, oh my God, my international friends. Um... Uh, 
Okay. So, um, I actually wanted to put in Get Glam here. But yeah, I yeah, made like a little bit of a decision that was kind of hard for me. Um, but once I like made the decision, I was like, okay, like I feel better. So I think like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to go like say without going into and I hate being like, let me tell you half of the story, but like, I'm just... Some things in my life go on to stay private, you know? You know. You do know. I'm trying to figure out Theo's birthday party currently. Food-wise. Everything else is figured out. All right, here. My little emo-ness. So we're going to put this back up here. It's a little crooked, but she's all right. And then with Theo next to the grocery shopping. Um... And then I did get McDonald's door dashed because I was feeling very emo. Very, very emo. Um, so what am I putting here? McDonald's. Okay, so let's just do the good old Happy Meal that's on here because it's so cute. McDonald's. And then this day, so like all of that happened in the morning. I was very emotional and needed a lot of pep talks. Read my little note in my phone that keeps me going that I wrote myself. You know, I'm just really living. Um, and then like we got like a string of different like things happen that I was like, wait, is our luck turning? Like it was kind of weird how it all happened because like it was like bam, 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 bam. And I was like, wait, is this like, is this like like good things are like all of a sudden happening like this is so weird so um I felt like it was like a it was like a, a like what were I thinking of just like a lot of like because all the kids were sick and had his appendix out like this other things that were going on in my life just feeling like and like it was like one of the like something that's been like kind of going on for a long time that kind of just like all of a sudden resolved this day kind of um, I don't know. It was very weird. It was all just very strange how it all happened. But I just put in my luck turn question mark. I don't know. It just felt like everything happens for a reason kind of situation. And then we did go over to my neighbor's house, not Nick's friends, but a different neighbor. Um, because they were having like, it's like basically their family Easter party, but they also invite like the whole like all of their neighbors too um they are just literally the greatest they're like grandparents like they have a lot of grandkids so they throw like really fun parties and do stuff for the kids and it's really really fun nice and cute so we went over and did that i actually had a really good time and nick made some new friends which was very very awesome for him and he found out later that they whenever we were playing D, &D this night they were also um playing D, &D which is kind of like what are the odds kind of situation um but yeah so he's him and chris are also going to be doing a campaign with um two of our neighbors and their friends which is very cool for them because they are very 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 into D, &D. and then we did have a D, D session this night because it was chris's birthday game night we all dressed it up dressed up as different chris's i dressed up as chris jenner and Chris didn't get it. Honestly, though, I don't really think that any of us expected him to get it because Chris is just kind of like oblivious to the whole world, basically. He was just very confused. So, you know, we love him. So we had a DD and d session as per his request, um, which was actually probably one of our most fun sessions to date. If I'm being honest with you. And then um, fast forward to Sunday, woke up and the kids did their Easter baskets, which were very cute. Um, I feel like this year's Easter baskets were perfect. Like the stuff that I put in, it was all just very practical things and they were obsessed. And then I did go ahead and make big breakfast, which I usually do for all holidays, which is basically, I mean, it's nice because all my kids eat it, but it's basically like a kind of like a breakfast skillet kind of thing. I don't really know. 
it's delicious. It's what my dad used to make when we would go camping and I loved it and I would honestly eat it every day and yeah, it was fantastic. So then later on, we did have Easter dinner with the normals and then Nick's parents didn't come because another wild thing that was going on is my father-in-law had pneumonia, you know, just casual grandpa having pneumonia and the doctor told him that if he would have waited any longer to go to the doctors, that he would have likely, within a couple of days, been in the hospital. That's how bad it was. And it took him, he just now, so, like, he found out he had pneumonia, I think, on Thursday or Friday. Or, I don't even know. He had pneumonia for, like, three weeks as far as, like, symptoms and how sick he was. And, it like, a week and a half of that, it might have been two weeks of it, was, like, I don't know. Honestly, he might have been sick for longer. He might have been sick for a month. I don't know. The whole thing was long, but that's why I told him, like, you're elderly. You got to go faster to the, the hospital and not wait 112 years because you're going to die on us. And that's not going to be fun. So next time, how about we, you know, speed up and go to the hospital a little bit earlier? Josh a smidge, or not the hospital, but the doctor a little bit earlier. So he was dealing with pneumonia. He's finally starting to feel better, which is nice because... You know, I, I prefer my in-laws not to keel over quite yet. Um, so we had Easter dinner, which was super, super yum, yum. Um, and then afterwards, I just read with Nick. We all, um, read with Nick, and I was super stressed about just, like, how the week was going to go ahead. Um, but, but I feel better now. I feel, I feel very good about life currently. And I feel good that I was able to finish this while they are not home. So let's go ahead and zoom out and show you the whole dang thing. And I am honestly obsessed with this bread. I think it looks so cute. I think it's even cute for like Easter week. I don't like celebrate Easter religiously. I just like use it as an excuse to have a meal with family. Um, okay have a meal with family and just kind of like eat food because honestly food is my whole life so let's go ahead and flip on through all of the things that I have left I'm going to show you what I'm putting into D stash first so I'm putting all of this into D stash lots and lots and lots of boxes which I love how this one turned out here I think it's so cute um, more D stash and then I probably honestly will put like all of this foil stuff into D stash. I'm probably gonna use maybe this and then mm, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I like the amount of foil going on here, so maybe I won't use any of the like bits anywhere. So I'm gonna put all of this into D stash. And that is everything. I hope you like this video. If you made it all the way to the end, leave me some kind of wedding emoji down below, you know. And yeah, I'm just very, very thrilled with the way this turned out. It was kind of a crazy whirlwind of a week, but I'm glad that I was able to have the perfect kit to denote one of my besties getting receptioned because it wasn't married. She's already married, but reception. I don't really know what that's called. So uh, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.